morning to you. Welcome to my kitchen. It's Deb from Bowl Me Over. I'm so glad you're here today. We're gonna do some baking. It's fall. It's Halloween almost. I, the house is decorated. I just love this time of year. Um, we're gonna make some cookies today. And those are pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. And you know me, because I'm lazy, we're gonna start with a cake mix. I love something that's so easy like this. We're gonna need a couple eggs, pure pumpkin puree not pumpkin pie mix, so make sure you get pure pumpkin puree and chocolate chips. Now to a couple of things we're gonna need, of course, are baking, baking cooking, cookie sheets, um, a, a bowl, and we're not even gonna use a mixer, <laughs> so that's how easy these are, and then a small ice cream scoop, and that's gonna be for dolly up cookies. That's it. Let's get started baking. And this is such a simple recipe. We're gonna need a couple of things. The first is our cake mix. And again, it's a spice cake mix. I had um, I had carrot cake mix here at home, and I was like, I bet that'll work with carrot cake. And then I thought, I don't wanna confuse you, so <laughs> we're into the store really quick. Um, and got the, the spice cake mix. And the next thing is the pumpkin puree. And I'm just trying to make sure I get them all out of there. And then eggs. Um, I think I've told you this before, but I grew up on a farm and we would go out and get our eggs in the morning, um, check the chickens and all that. Sorry about that, my video did a weird thing, so we're back to back to our batter here. So we have the um, cake mix, the pumpkin puree, and the eggs. And all we need to do is mix that until it's smooth and creamy and this is just going to take a quick minute. You could use a blender but I really think it's just about as easy to use a little elbow grease. See how quickly that's coming together? And I'm, as I'm as I'm spooning the batter I'm digging down to the bottom to get any any cake mix, any like, see, there some cake mix came up because so, it just kind of sticks in the oddest places. And you don't need it completely creamy, you just want to make sure you don't have any big lumps in the batter. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now that that's mixed, see how nice that looks? We're going to add the chocolate chips. Seems like a lot, but it is the perfect amount. And just stir those in as well. And just that quick, these are ready to bake. Now that our dough is all mixed, our cookie dough, um, we're ready to put it on the baking sheets. And I do have it lined with parchment paper. That just makes it so it's easier, it doesn't stick. And also, I have a glass of water. The glass of water is for my scooper. Um, it just makes it slide out because this dough can get really sticky. So let's do that next. We have our cookie dough all set and you notice these are really close together for this particular recipe you can do that they're not going to spread out they're going to puff up like little pillows so let's get these in the oven next and we'll have cookies in just a few minutes okay let's go put these in the oven the oven's preheated to 350 degrees um, it's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll be having our cookies this house smells right now. Now really all you need are a couple cookies and a big glass of milk or coffee but um, let me tell you these are yummy. If you get these from the store, the grocery store, they have these and you're gonna pay like I don't know nine dollars for for twelve. You can make like 36 for four dollars <laughs> instead. I, these are just so good. Anyway they're perfect for fall 
They're, they're a great freezable cookie. Um, so I want to make sure you try this recipe, okay? I'm just going to get these all off onto the cookie sheet and finish those cookies we just put in the oven. Okay, so what happens if you have too many cookies and you can't eat them all? Well, you freeze them, of course. This pumpkin chocolate chip cookie dough freeze. It's great. And if you want that fresh baked cookie taste when you pull these out of the freezer, stick it in your air fryer minutes. They get all soft and chewy again and they're wonderful. These are the best. Don't forget, head over to um, YouTube and check out the channel. I would appreciate a like and a subscribe on the blog at bowlmeover.com. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Oh shoot, before I forget, follow me on TikTok. See ya!